Hello and welcome back to GS Simple. In the last video, uh, we saw how we can calculate the distance of each location with cholera deaths to the nearest water pump. And we use the near uh, tool in ArcMap. Uh, let's inspect the attribute table. What we got from the near tool uh, is uh, a couple of new columns in the color deaths attribute table. One column is uh, the uh, is uh, con con is containing the identifier of each uh, uh, water pump, and the near distance column is storing the distance of each uh, spot of each color casualty location to the nearest uh, public water pump. Now we can use the uh, codes uh, stored in the near FID to um, uh, change the symbology of the cholera deaths uh, locations in order to uh, have a visual understanding of uh, which point is closer uh, to which uh, water pump. So we can uh, uh, right click on cholera deaths uh, uh, layer we can uh, click on properties and then we want to change the symbology of the dots so we go on uh, categories we click on categories we select unique values and under the value field we open the uh, drop down menu and we uh, select the near FID so we select the, the column uh, in the attribute table that is storing uh, the identifier of the nearest water pump uh, for each uh, uh, cholera casualty location. And then we click our, uh, Add All Values. And as you can see, uh, the color of, uh, of the dots will be uh, changed and uh, a different color will be given to each dot according to the value stored in the near FID uh, column. So we click Apply, we click OK, and so we can see that the symbology has changed, and uh, we will have uh, this uh, uh, pink color given to the dots that are uh, closer to the a um, uh, uh, water pump uh, um, that has uh, an identifier equal to zero and then this light green will be given to the um, ca lo casualty location that are closer to the water pump number one uh, this uh, light pink color will be given to the water uh, to the ca uh, color casualties locations that are closer to the water pump number number two and so forth and so on and maybe we can change the sides of these dots in order to have a, a, a clearer representation. So we can click on all these rows, then right click <coughs> properties for our symbols. We can increase the sides. And so as you can see, uh, in this way, we can have a visual understanding. We can easily uh, uh, understand uh, to which uh, water pump each uh, dots uh, each dot uh, is uh, closer. So these uh, these uh, uh, the locations are closer to the uh, pump uh, water pump uh, whose identifier is zero. These uh, are uh, closer to the pump whose identifier is one, and so forth and so on. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you have any comment, please uh, uh, leave a comment and uh, give a thumb up. I'll see you in the next video.